It's one of the only certainties in life. From the moment we're born, we're counting down to the moment we die. Death is an absolute for almost every living thing, but there are many things we still don't know about it. Buckle up for 50 insane facts about death and dying. Number 50. Death at first sight. When someone expires, especially if they haven't been conscious for a while, it can be hard to tell that they're really gone. But there is one way to check. The eyes have it. One of the first signs of death is that a person's eyes cloud over. As the body functions cease and oxygen stops flowing to the eyeballs. If a person's eyes are open, this can happen as quickly as 10 minutes after the time of death. It's not the body's only weird effect after death. Number 49. Growth in death? It's been one of the strangest things people have noticed after their loved ones pass away. They swear that their nails and hair keep growing even after death. Is it possible that these keratin-based body parts are still active even after all life function have ceased? In a word, no. What actually happens is that the body starts drying out. This causes the skin to retract and tighten, which pulls away from the hair and nails, making them look longer. And there are many dramatic changes in the body right after death. Number 48. Unlucky Stiff It's one of the most famous parts of death, rigor mortis. The whole body seems to tighten up and become stiff and hard. This makes the body hard to move, but it's only a temporary condition that begins a few hours after death. Within a day to five days, the body will loosen up, which makes prepping it for a funeral much easier. This is a benefit to having funerals a while after death, but some effects are much creepier. Number 47. A ghostly noise. Imagine you're a morgue worker and you're handling the latest bodies that came in. Then, suddenly, from the closed room where you're the only person working, comes a ghostly moan. Time to call the exorcist? Maybe not. As gases left in a body start to filter out through orifices, this causes the vocal cords to vibrate. This can make the sound like a corpse is moaning or groaning. A terrifying effect, but a totally normal one. But absent intervention, the body will take care of itself after death. Number 46. Eating at you. Did you know that we technically have more foreign creatures living in us than our own cells? We're full of bacterial cells at all times, but our body's defense mechanisms keep them at bay. As soon as we die and our body systems cease to function, it's buffet time for all those normally helpful bacteria. They'll start eating at the body and that lets them multiply much faster and start the process of decomposition in earnest. And decomposition happens in a lot of different ways. Number 45. Wax on, wax off. Grave wax might sound like a product cemetery owners use to keep everything in good shape, but it's actually a natural product. Clinically known as adipocere, it's a waxy product caused by decomposition of body fat that forms on the skin and can often leave the body looking something like a wax figure. This only happens when a body is under wet conditions with minimal oxygen, and bodies that decompose this way are a rarity found in museums. Decomposition varies based on conditions. Number 44. A Grave Timeline how long does it take a body to decompose? That depends on the conditions. When buried under normal conditions without the body being preserved, it will generally take about a year for the body to be reduced to nothing more than a skeleton. But experiments showed that when a body was kept in consistent 50 degree weather, it will be nothing but bones in only 4 months. But under certain conditions, decomposition might not happen at all. Number 43. The Bog Bodies European peat bogs are one of the most unique places in the world because they're cold, low in oxygen, and highly acidic. That means that the bodies there don't decompose like normal. When pulled out of the bog, they can look perfectly preserved for years, or even thousands of years. When the Tullund Man, an Iron Age specimen, was found in a Danish bog, his discoverers assumed they had found the body of a missing person. And in the harshest of conditions, bodies can become landmarks. Number 42. A Frozen Warning Mount Everest is one of the most hostile climates on Earth, with the mountain above a certain point being known as the death zone. So it's not a surprise that a lot of people die there. And because on the higher part of the mountain it never gets below freezing, most of them stay there. It's too dangerous and expensive to bring most bodies down, and they don't decompose when frozen solid. So corpses like the famous green boots become markers that new climbers see lying there like they were sleeping as they climb the mountain. But now, there are easier ways to keep people from decomposing. Number 41. Pickling a person If you've chosen the full funeral package for your loved ones, one of the choices you'll likely have to make is about embalming. This practice uses a collection of chemicals to preserve the corpse, making it more resistant to decomposition. While it won't slow down decomposition indefinitely, it's a common choice for those who want to have an open casket funeral. 
so everyone can stand around talking about how natural the deceased looks. That's enough about the body after death. How do we get there? Number 40. Running out the clock. So, how long can humans actually live? While the average lifespan in the US is in the 70s that's driven down by those who die young, those who make it to the 70s usually live longer, and a small percentage make it past 100 and beyond. This tiny group of centenarians and supercentenarians have an honorary queen in Jean Calment, a French woman who is the documented oldest person to ever live, making it to a shocking 122 years old. So, how many people have ever died? Number 39. It's crowded down there. The world is more crowded than it's ever been, but we're still only a tiny fraction of the population of the world that's already passed on. There are currently more than 7 billion people on planet Earth, but the total population of the planet over all of history is more than 108 billion. That means that 100 billion people have already died, which is probably not a good sign for the living if the zombie wars ever come to pass. But what actually puts people underground? Number 38. Common Cause the United States has kept track of the most common causes of death for a long time, and it's mostly steady. The most common cause of all? Heart disease, which not surprisingly takes out many of the elderly. Cancer isn't far behind, but number three is accidental injury, which is the most common cause of death for all age groups between one year and 44. Once you get older, it's your own body that's more likely to get you. But one cause of death isn't a cause of death at all. Number 37. No exit. You hear about it so often, an old person dies of old age. Well, people may say it, but you'll never see it on a death certificate. That's because no one has ever died of old age. What actually happens is that people reach old age, immune systems weaken, it becomes easier for them to catch illnesses, and their body can't repair the damage as quickly. So while old age won't kill them, it becomes a game of attrition for what illness will finish the job. But can you die from… water? Number 36. Too much of a good thing. Sure. You can die from water. Drowning kills many people, and scalding water can cause fatal burns. But simply drinking too much water can kill you as well. A woman who drank 6 liters of water in 3 hours to win a contest died of hyponatremia, or water overdose. But unlike other overdoses, this isn't poisoning. What actually happens is that you drink too much water for your body to process, which causes the sodium levels in the blood to dilute fatally. And speaking of water… Number 35. A wet reveal. If you wanted to kill someone, getting rid of the body in the water would seem to be smart. After all, everyone would just assume they drowned, right? Not if forensic scientists are on the case, because the body stops functioning after death. Detectives can figure out if someone was dead before they hit the water by looking at their lungs. If someone drowned, their lungs will have filled up with water, while a corpse dumped in the water would still have lungs full of air. But not all methods of solving murder have held up with time. Number 34. The eyes have it. When someone was murdered in the 19th century, investigators did something unusual. They would remove the victim's eyes and dissect them. This is because they believed that the eyes were like cameras, capturing images, and their killer's image was the last thing they ever saw. Not surprisingly though, they never seemed to find where that image was stored, and this became one of the many weird scientific ideas that didn't survive the march of progress. Some causes of death are a lot rarer than you might think. Number 33. Not so scary. When someone paddles into the water, they're no doubt keeping an eye out for any hungry finned predators. But dying of a shark attack is incredibly rare, and more people die of selfie-related incidents per year. Likewise, skydiving seems like a terrifying and dangerous activity, but the technology is surprisingly safe. More people die per year in dance parties and nightclubs than die by falling from an airplane. But three days of the year might be deadlier than any other. Number 32. Nothing like the holidays. What days are likeliest to end in death? Well, if we're talking about natural causes, they shoot up on Christmas, the next day, and New Year's Day. While murders and suicides actually decrease during the holidays, many people who might be feeling sick will put off treatment because they don't want to check into the hospital on a holiday, and by then it might be too late. Add in many top doctors taking the holiday off, and it could be a deadly combo. But one cause of death might outstrip all the others. Number 31. The Ultimate Plague what is the deadliest disease of all time? No, it's not COVID-19, the Spanish flu, or even the Black Death. Instead, it's a common disease that has been ravaging the world for centuries. Malaria. It's so deadly because it's spread by mosquitoes, and as anyone who's ever tried to have a barbecue outside in the summer knows, those things are everywhere. It kills more than half a million people in most years, and likely killed far more in the past when medical treatment wasn't as advanced. For many, death comes quickly, but what happens when it's slower? Number 30. The Last Go 
When people die due to illness, organ failure, or cancer, they can often convalesce in the hospital or hospice facilities for an extended period, being kept comfortable with medicine. When they reach the final stage and their death is imminent, their senses will begin failing them, although they're often too sedated to react. But one sense is the last to go, hearing, which allows their loved ones to keep talking to them up until the very end. Some deaths are a lot less peaceful than that, though. Number 29. Execute this. The death penalty became a lot less common in the 20th century, with many nations, including all of Western Europe, abolishing it due to human rights concerns. But 53 nations around the world still execute their worst criminals, and they use a variety of methods. While the United States' favored method is lethal injection, you'll find states and other countries that use the electric chair, the gas chamber, firing squad, hanging, and even beheading. But which country executes the most people? Number 28. The Final Countdown the United States only executed 22 people in 2019, mostly due to the lengthy appeals process and the fact that many states no longer have the death penalty. It's believed that the country with the most executions is China, executing over a thousand people in that same year, but they don't release execution data, classifying it as a state secret. That makes the official champion Iran, which executed 251 people in 2019, but one method of execution has fallen out of favor. Number 27. The Chopping Block it's one of the most infamous inventions of all time, the guillotine, a sharp blade attached to a machine that will cleave a head from the neck in a second. But it was first conceived of by Dr. Joseph Ignace Guilton, a French physician, as a humanitarian invention. He believed it would be a painless and humane way to carry out executions, despite opposing the death penalty himself. He would then watch as it was used to carry out countless political executions during the Reign of Terror, six feet deep. It seems to be the standard at every cemetery, but why are graves dug six feet deep? It's a lot of work and a health hazard for anyone who might trip into it. Turns out that the root of the tradition comes to the Black Plague, the deadly plague that ravaged Europe. In the year 1665, London was suffering an outbreak, and the mayor decreed that all bodies should be buried six feet underground to try to stem the spread of the disease from the corpses. But the traditional burial might be falling out of fashion. Number 24. Burning Up Cremation, where the body is burned in a powerful oven and the remnants are returned to the loved ones, is becoming a popular alternative to burials. In fact, it's actually surpassed the popularity of burial in the United States, and it's estimated that by 2040 as many as 80% of people may choose cremation. This is because burial plots are becoming increasingly costly, and cremation offers lower costs and increased flexibility. But there's one common misconception. Number 23. Where's the ash? We've all met someone who had grandma's ashes on her mantelpiece, or did they? One of the most common misconceptions about cremation is that there are ashes involved. But what is actually returned to the family isn't ash at all, it's a fine powder, usually known as bone ash. But what it actually contains is the minerals in the bones. The powerful ovens burn away everything else, clean, and the mineral content is all that's left. Still, keep the cat away from the urn. But ashes don't need to stay on the mantle. Number 22. Going out in style. Cremation ashes are sterile, non-toxic, and odorless, which means they can be incorporated into just about anything safely. So if you want a more permanent memento of a loved one, they can be compressed into gemstones. If you want to celebrate their interests, their ashes can be mixed into paint or used in ink for sheet music. And if you really want to send them out with a bang, companies can mix the remains with gunpowder and design a custom batch of fireworks, the perfect way to send off that rowdy uncle. But one use for cremation remains may last far longer than the person. Number 21. Growing After Death For the environmentally minded, there's a way to leave a positive impact on the world after death. A person is cremated and the remains are placed in a biodegradable urn alongside a tree seed. That urn is buried in a suitable place. The urn degrades and opens in the soil, and soon a tree grows from the person's remains. After a few years, the tree becomes a perfect place for the loved ones to gather under the shade their departed family member provided. But around the world, burial rites take on some very unique forms. Number 20. Make it loud. Funerals are usually solemn occasions, but in New Orleans, you might mistake it for a party. With elements taken from African, French, and Black American traditions, these big easy funeral processions are led by a big jazz band blowing horns. They play traditional funeral music at first, but after the burial, the tone shifts and everyone cuts loose. They'll play upbeat dance marches, the mourners will dance in the streets, and send their loved one off in style. But not all the fun is saved for those who are buried. Number 19. Smoke and Mirrors 
On the island of Bali, cremation can be dramatic, all-day affairs. The locals believe that cremation releases the soul and sends it off to its next destination, so it's common for elaborate cremations and burnings to be held publicly. But none was more dramatic than the cremation of the head of their royal family in 2008. His body was placed inside a massive wooden bull and burned in the presence of a giant dragon statue in a mass funeral along with 68 other dead. But some traditions are a lot more modern. Number 18. Fantasy Funeral Have you seen any footage of Ghanaian funerals? Those guys like to live it up. Not only do they have some great dances, they're known for a unique coffin industry called fantasy coffins. These are like those race car beds you had as a kid only forever. People are buried in decorated coffins that look like the thing they loved most in life, ranging from a Mercedes Benz for a rich man to a giant Bible for a particularly devout churchgoer. In some cultures, the traditions don't end with burial. Number 17. Turn, turn, turn. In Madagascar, you might be surprised to see people digging up a grave. These aren't grave robbers or witch doctors, they're the loved ones of the person in the grave. The Malagasy people have a unique tradition where every seven years they exhume bodies, wrap them in cloth, perform a ritual dance, and tell stories of the dead. If you think this probably smells terrible, you're right, which is why they start by spraying the bones with wine. This next tradition is not for the faint of heart. Number 16. Burial in the Sky Buddhists believe the body is not important after death because the soul has migrated to a new being as part of reincarnation. Thus, they pay tribute to the dead and cut them up into pieces. Rather than burying it where it's of no use to anyone but the worms, they place the body on a mountaintop and let the vultures pick the bones clean. While it's an ancient tradition, it's still practiced regularly in Tibet today. But few places have more unique burial traditions than the Philippines. Number 15. Smoke em up the Philippines have many ethnic groups and many have their own traditions. The Tinguan people have a strange tradition where they give their dead a makeover, dressing them in the best clothes available, and then sit them on a chair at the memorial service. They then place a lit cigarette in their mouth. Hey, at least the dead look relaxed. Another group has a very different tradition. Number 14. Hollow Ground The Cavitano people live near the city of Manila, but their tradition is definitely not a city one. They bury their dead not in the ground but in hollow tree trunks. But not just any tree. When a person knows they're nearing death due to old age or illness, they go and pick out their own burial tree. It's even common for the person to live in a little hut by their death tree while their family works to hollow it out. But whatever the culture, death is the end of the road, right? Number 13. What comes next? The belief in the afterlife is common across the world, with almost every religion having some concept of life after death. Some believe in reincarnation as each soul becomes a totally new person or other being after death. Others believe in ascending to a higher plane of existence or becoming part of some cosmic being. Others believe that the first thing you see after death is a judge to determine if you've lived well enough to enter the afterlife. But there's no proof of any of this, right? Number 12. Back from the dead? Surprisingly, there are a lot of people who claim to have seen what comes after death. These are usually people who nearly died due to their heart stopping and were revived, be it due to a heart attack or surgical mishap. They often report seeing a white light or hearing voices. One boy, Colton Burpo, even reported seeing heaven and meeting people who were dead before he was born and wrote a book about it with his father. But are these afterlife encounters proof of anything or just the brain's tricks? Number 11. Closer to Earth Neuroscientists who have studied the brain at the moment of death report that it releases an increased amount of hormones that cause positive feelings at the moment of death. This means that near-death experiences could be caused by these hormones making people feel at peace and safe during their moment of greatest distress. But how does this explain children knowing things they have no way of knowing? Well, skeptics point at an old-fashioned solution. Dad may be coaching his son. Harder to explain is one woman who floated out of her body and saw a pair of sneakers on the hospital roof, only to have a nurse fetch them after she woke up. But has anyone seen the other place? Number 10. Oh, hell. People reporting seeing the bad ending in the afterlife is much rarer, but those who did come back deeply disturbed. They report darkness, anguish, and distress, and a few have gotten much more detailed. When a man was shot in the head and spent an extended period in a coma, he awoke reporting that he spent time being tortured in a terrible realm of fire and hopelessness. While he had a religious awakening and wrote a book, most doctors believe this was the product of the brain drama he endured. But what do those who came the closest to death have to say? Number 9. Back from Beyond When Velma Thomas had a heart attack in 2008, she took a turn for the worse and was soon pronounced dead. Doctors tried to induce hypothermia to lower her body temperature, but it seemed to be no use, and she was without brain activity for 17 hours as her family was called in to say goodbye. 
but when she was taken off life support, she suddenly started waking up. The 59-year-old woman eventually recovered and came home, but when asked about what she remembered from her time in the great beyond, the answer was nothing. Death is universal, but a full life means something very different for different beings. Number 8. The Blink of an Eye The average human lifespan is in the 70s, solidly on the upper range of animals, but some animals live a full life in a much shorter time. Panther chameleons only live about a year, which means the previous generation is almost entirely gone before the next generation hatches from their eggs. Drone ants only live three weeks, dying soon after mating with females. But nothing tops the mayfly, which is born with one purpose, to reproduce. They spend most of their time as nymphs, and only have a total lifespan of 24 hours. But some animals can put humans to shame. Number 7. The Heavy Hitters Elephants are one of the few land mammals with a similar lifespan to humans. If you can't stand the thought of losing another pet, you might want to consider a macaw. These colorful birds can live for up to 80 years. Bowhead whales are the longest living mammal with lifespans of over 200 years. One was even found with harpoon fragments from the 1800s still in it. But no large animal tops the Greenland shark, whose slow growth cycle means they can live up to 500 years. But for the longest lived organism of all, you have to leave the animal kingdom. Number 6. Standing Tall What is the longest any living organism on Earth has escaped death? That would be found in California's White Mountains, a mighty bristlecone pine tree named Methuselah, for the notoriously long-lived biblical figure. How old is this tree? Almost 5,000 years old, which means it's been standing tall on the North American continent before the Great Pyramid of Giza was even on the drawing board. But is death truly an inevitability for everyone and everything? Number 5. A Tight Squeeze You might have heard the rumor that lobsters are immortal. Well, that's obviously not true. They wouldn't wind up on dinner plates if they were. But these sea crustaceans do not die of old age. They shed their shells and grow a new one, essentially renewing their body periodically. The problem is eventually they get too big to escape their shell and wind up getting stuck in an old one and dying that way. Not even the lobster can escape. But one creature might have figured out the secret to immortality. Number 4. The Immortal Jellyfish One species seems to have a process for avoiding death indefinitely. Turritopsis dorni, a tiny jellyfish found in the oceans around the world. They have a full life cycle until they reach their dying medusa stage, at which point they avoid death by turning back into a tiny ball of cells that begins the life cycle anew. So they renew their life indefinitely. But are they truly the same being or an identical clone? For a simple jellyfish, there's no real difference, but for a human with a mind and personality, it's a much bigger question. But will humans eventually figure out the way to conquer death? Number 3. The Deep Freeze Some people are already working on it. A cottage industry has emerged of people being cryogenically frozen in the hopes that they can eventually be revived in the future. The law dictates that cryogenic freezing can only happen after the person is pronounced dead, and it's most commonly practiced by those who die of incurable diseases. At least 250 people are frozen in the United States, and 1,500 more have signed up. But contrary to rumors, Walt Disney is not one of them. But some people have talked about another form of life after death. Number 2. Living in the Cloud the development of the digital world has led some people to wonder, could we live forever as digital thought forms? The idea is that a process would be developed to read the brain patterns of a person and upload them into the digital world, allowing the person's mind to continue to exist after death. It sounds great, except that the technology doesn't exist. While research is ongoing, it's more of a topic for science fiction stories right now. But while humans try to escape death, death just keeps on coming. Number 1. Keep on reaping the good news for humanity is that the global birth rate continues to outpace the global death rate, and the population keeps growing, no matter what the diseases are out there. The bad news is, a lot of people are dying from all sorts of causes. It's estimated that the global death rate is about 7.7 .7 per 1,000 people, a little under 1% of the population every year, which means a lot of people looking over their shoulder for the Grim Reaper. For more on what happens after death, check out Best Evidence of Life After Death, or watch this video instead.